Around this time last year, I filmed something that I had never seen done in my life. Something this man is a professional at. And something he describes as a liquid figure exploration. This must be Jeff Schneider. Jeff is a glass and steel artist out of Spicewood, Texas, and runs Jay Schneider's studio, where he works with high-end designers, art galleries, and pretty much anyone who wants to get involved with his fine art. I met Jeff a couple months before I moved away from Austin. I was working on a sort of dual-use commercial with my co-worker Philip Guzman. What up, Philip? We wanted to incorporate a glass blower making an ornament for a Christmas commercial, but we decided we'd also make a cut just highlighting the glass blowing aspect itself that we would later call Ignite the Fire Within. Jeff was more than willing to be a part of our project and he delivered. Now, over a year later, I was able to catch up with Jeff and ask him some questions about how he got into his art form and why he loves it. So here he is. You can't stop a glass piece in the middle, put it on a shelf, and think about it for a while and come back to it. And I like that immediacy of the, of the medium. You have to have a plan and you have to execute your plan. So there's there's such a, a deep technical base behind everything you see a glass blower do that looks so easy. And without years of practice and all with the hope of attaining unattainable perfection, you can't, you can't build what you see in your mind without knowing it. You have to know the craft in order to express your art. I think that um, if you don't know the technical side of it, then you can't do what you see in your mind. You won't be capable of it. And it's just, it's always challenging and it's always just there. Like, it's just a medium. I found Jeff's artistic perspective to be so interesting that his love for glass blowing was based on its immediacy. We discussed how a painter can spend an entire year working on one piece, or a filmmaker can spend years plotting one movie, but Jeff said he could never do that. And it's what he loves about his self-prescribed glass addiction. He works on a piece, then has to make the decision. Does he love it, or does he destroy it? I like that. Yeah, I've never really thought about it like that. Like, it's just final, you know? Whatever comes out of there, it's gonna be final. You can't really alter it once it's already done. Yeah, you don't you don't get a second, a second chance, but you have to start over. Like, you can't, you don't get to just be like, oh, well, I need to change this, and I'll come back tomorrow and fix it, right? No, you, you, don't, you don't get that. You get now. It's very much about the moment. Uh, and that's, I mean, honestly, I love glass, but I love making glass far more than I love the product. The product is, is nice and ideally sellable, but it's really all about making. It's not about selling. Hence, the glass addiction. Jeff's work is so great because of his process, his repetition, and his burning passion to create. Much like any artist, it's not really about the money. It's about being able to create what you want and what you envision. I also wanted to mention Jeff's newest partnership with his old friend, who is now a designer out of Denmark. The two of them have teamed up to create Hi Howdy, so make sure to check them out as well as they prepare to launch in the upcoming months. Also, here's Jeff's information for his social media pages and website. And other than that, I'll see you next Tuesday. This must be Jeff Schneider. I am set and action.